Hello friends, so today we're gonna discuss the problem B from the latest Code Forces round 675 problem name Nice Matrix. This problem is very easy if you just draw it out and draw out some test cases. So I will also explain this question with this first test case and the question is pretty much very simple if you understand the logic itself. So you are given a matrix of n cross m and it is called nice if, if all its rows and column of the matrix are palindrome. I hope you know palindrome in which if you read the statement or if you read the number from starting or ending they are same. So you are given a n cross m matrix and a nice matrix is such that all the rows and all the columns are palindromic okay which means that this condition should hold this condition can be used in the code itself also and now you are given that shasha owns a ma like a matrix of size n cross m and in one operation what can she do is she can increase or decrease any number of the matrix by one now shasha wants to make the matrix nice what is the minimum number of operations she need to do and that's the question now to solve this question let's see the first test case in which the matrix is it has four rows and two column this is the matrix 4 2 2 4 4 2 2 4 so let's draw it out the matrix is 4 2 2 4 and again 4 2 2 4 this is the matrix which has like four rows and two columns and now you have to find out the minimum number of steps to make this matrix nice in which uh, the rows and columns should be palindromic okay now look at this matrix from like okay let's start from the first you have to iterate this matrix from the top to down let's for this position what are its position in the uh, like we have to find out what are the positions it should match so as you can see in a palindrome of length even let's assume it is a palindrome like this if i want to match it with this position because this position should be same and this position should be same in a palindrome so if it, this number is like column wise palindrome so for column wise palindrome this number and this number should be same and for row wise palindrome this number and this number should be same so in and all like these three numbers should be same okay so now what our main task is these three numbers should be same so now if i want to make all of these numbers same like how many minimum steps we have to do like as you can see if these three numbers are like like this two two and four it is better to bring the smaller number to the middle number and the larger number to the middle number because like uh, like there is some middle ground there is some smaller number and there is some mid larger number it's always beneficial to bring all the numbers equal so this number is like this is the middle ground make the smaller number equal to this and the larger number equal to this because if you like came this smaller number equal to this and also this number equal to this this is also equivalent because the total number of operations is done is same but it is always beneficial to bring it to the middle, middle ground so what you can do take out all these three numbers sort them out if i take this number sort them out and make them equal to the middle number which is the smaller number equal to two so it is beneficial to make all of these numbers equal to two okay so this is equal to two this is equal to two we just have to make this equal to two and how many steps you have to do we have to do two steps and also update this number in the matrix itself so I have made this equal to two, updated it and add this two because I have done two steps. Now my next position is because I'm like iterating in the matrix, I will be iterating like this column wise. So first I have iterated over this value. Now I, I am on this value. Now for this, I have to find out its palindromic like opposite. So if for two, as you can see the, for this to be like column wise palindrome, this number and this number should be same. And for row wise palindrome, this number, this number should be same. As you can see now again take down these numbers this number is 2 2 and 4 we have to take the modified number 2 2 and 4 now what is the benefit uh, like how we can make everything number equal to 2 what is the minimum number of steps we just make them equal to the middle number which is equal to 2 so these are same we just make this equal to the middle number so we just do two steps and make this equal to 2 so two steps are required and we just make this equal to 2 now we come to this to this point for this the palindrome pair is for this we have to make this equal to this number and this number because these are palindrome in like column wise and these are row wise so this this and this should be same so just put them in in a area like as you can see two four four we sort them out this is the middle number we should make this equal to the four and thus because uh, this is four this is four we have to make this equal to four we will require two steps because i'm converting two to four so how many steps we are doing two steps now we are going to this so what are the palindromic jumps for this 
like pair for this this is four so this this and this so put them in an array so this is four four and four middle number is four so we have to convert this to four so how many steps more two steps are required now for this as you can see uh, for this now it's already sorted because as you can see for this the palindromic pairs is this and this and these are already same so we don't have to do anything for this it's this and this so they are already same so as you can see total number of operation we do is eight and that's the answer so i hope you get the point how we are solving this for every number we are just finding out its palindromic pair in the column wise and row wise finding out the minimum of like for the for all of this finding out the middle of them just put them in an array sort them out find the middle element and make both the smaller and the larger equal to the middle element and find out how many steps we are required so if this is the middle element we are taking the larger element to this and the smaller element to, to this point so these are the steps required and also updating these changes in the matrix itself and after all of these operations we have also get the final matrix and also total number of steps so that's the whole logic for this problem let's move on to the code part now so as you can see uh, this is the very global array for a uh, take the input of n and m store this in a then total total number of steps we are doing then iterate over i and j so find out the other points so this is finding out uh, in the column wise or oh sorry in the row wise this is the column wise palindromic pair uh, making a pair b push the current value which is a of ij the palindromic pairs other one other two sort this out after sorting this out make all of these values like uh, like the current value and the other two values equal to middle element because it has three elements like the indexing will be 0 1 and 2 so the middle element will be at the index 1 and the total number of steps we are doing is because the largest element is b2 and the middle element is b1 so we have to make the biggest element equal to the small middle element so b2 minus b1 and also we have to make the uh, like the smallest element equal to the middle element so how many steps you have to do b, b1 minus b0 and that's the total number of steps we have to do so we will add this total number of steps in total and we have to do this for all the positions and the answer is just the total answer i hope you get the point and the gist of the problem and the code itself if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye